click. All right, now to the betting odds surrounding the NFL win totals for the upcoming inaugural 17-game season. Caesars projects the Chiefs will have the greatest win total with 12, and the defending champion Buccaneers aren't far behind at 11.5. The Texans and Lions are on the opposite end of the spectrum with just five projected victories. Okay, Drink will play over under 32 times, starting in the AFC East, and the Bills, Caesars has them at 10.5, over under. I got them going over. I think um, they went 13-3 last season. I don't see what would stop them from doing that again this season, so I'm going to take them on the over. I agree. Uh, I think I think 10, 10 and a half is a little conservative. You got to remember they got the extra game, so it's not like you have to ask them to go 11 and 5. They could be in 11 and 6. Um, Josh Allen doing what he's doing, you know, jumping up a little bit in the, dare I say, MVP type conversation, just a little bit. Right, right. Sean McDermott, exceptional coach. Yes, I think that's an over. The Dolphins, they project them at nine. They were 10 and 6 last year, over under. Same thing here for the, for the Dolphins. Not necessarily the MVP conversation, but. Um, listen, they won 10 games last year, and they were still trying to figure it out. Pulling to a, pulling, you know, him and Fitzpatrick going back and forth. Um, listen, we know they're going to have a draft that's going to be impactful one way or another. They got too many draft picks for it not to be. Um, so, at nine, I'm, I'm going to have to take the over. I think they could do 10 or better. Yeah, I think that's an over. Uh, yeah, I don't know if I see Tua in that MVP conversation yet either but i do see him having a um an improved season they've added some weapons for him they got will fuller um Devontae parker he's no scrub um yeah i i find it hard to believe that the dolphins will not be able to be at least 10 and 7. i, I think that's an over uh bill belichick cam newton and the patriots and the free agent spending spree uh caesars has him at nine what you got over under uh, this might be an unpopular uh, push here, but I, I'm going to go with push. I'm, I'm going to go push. I think they're going to win nine. I, I do understand they're playing an extra game this season. I got that. But the NFC, I mean, the AFC East is a lot more competitive now than it used to be. And I think the Patriots is clearly, for me, the third best team until I watch them play. As of right now, they're the third best team in that division. They're going to get their freebies off the Jets for sure. But I don't know if they're going to necessarily split with the Bills or the Dolphins. We don't know. We got to see play. So as of right now, I'm going with the push for the Patriots until I see how all these pieces mix together. I'll give, I'll give them an over. I just, I just find it hard to believe that a team with that much that has invested so much in so much talent is going to be 9-8 and eight or worse. Um, I think Bill Belichick, he's got something to prove. I think Cam Newton's got something to prove. that They have upgraded this roster tremendously. Cam's going to have a lot more weapons. Um, so yeah, I think that's an over. Jets, uh, Vegas, I think they're a little generous here with the with the six. Um, what do you think? Is that a, is that an over or under? You absolutely right, baby. I took the under with the gravy on it. Listen, I don't, I, I, I don't know where you get wins from. To be honest with you, like where, where, where exactly? Who do, who do you beat? No quarterback. A couple of good players that don't that's not impactful because you don't got a quarterback. Your, your GM out here on a sabbatical, the, the owner, he worried about what's going on in other countries more than this one. Like, I went extra under on the Jets. I, can't, I went over on every other team in this division, so that would imply that those three teams are going to be use this as a – use the Jets as a punching bag, and they will. Uh, so, yeah, this this has got to be an under – I don't know where they get six wins. That's – with a, if they don't have a quarterback – uh, Robert Sala, it's gonna be it's gonna be hard for him to generate a lot of wins at this team. Uh, I don't, even, I can't even name that many players on this team because they're just not very good. So I might wake up the GM so they can you know start accumulating <laughs> some talent. Please do. On to the AFC North, the Ravens. Uh, we got them projected at eleven over under. Uh, I'm gonna say. Over. I'm going to give them the extra game. I think they're going to win the extra game. So, I got the Ravens as a push. I, it was very tough. I got to see Lamar Jackson push up some. They didn't really give him no help in the offseason. I got it. Maybe the draft might give him some help. Maybe I mean, it's not over with. The Ravens can still make some moves as of right now. But I give them the credit where it's due. They won 11. I think they can do the same thing. And they can go over and win another one. So, I'm going to say over. I'm gonna give I'm gonna give them a push, um, and because I was giving Lamar Jackson 
a lot of credit coming off his MVP season. I said he'd come out and he would be much improved throwing the football. We didn't see that. Part of that is has to be that they just haven't invested in the weapons, although I think they they tried for some guys. You know, they tried to get Juju, they tried to get a couple other guys, just didn't happen. So as of right now, with the seeing they're gonna have to do something in the draft for me to believe a little bit more. So I'm gonna give them a push. I think they do win eleven. Cleveland at ten. They were eleven and five last year. Over under. I'm taking the over, and I think Cleveland. By the way, I think they're gonna be the divisional champs this year. Um, I don't. If Baker Mayfield comes out here and act like he give a rip about being the former number one overall pick for the Cleveland Browns, they should win the division. This team is ready to win now. It just. They just got to get, I don't know, they got to connect the dots or something. I don't know. But this team is built to win now. I think Kevin Savansky has shown that he's an adult. He can make this program going to, or to make this organization go in the right direction. With that said, I'm going to take Cleveland with the over. Yeah. Um, I don't know, it's giving me no pleasure in saying so, but I'll take the over. Um, <laughs> it, yeah, it's all going to be about Baker Mayfield. Um, Cleveland just quite simply has, they have too much talent and you that that could be very well a position to take. Maybe you do look at them as the um, the team to beat in the division. Um, you bring in Jadavion Clowney to pair with Miles Garrett. They did just um, release Sheldon Richardson. Maybe that matters. Um, but I mean, they have a formula: run the football, uh, play action. You know, get uh, get pressure on the quarterback. Kevin Stefanski, you're right on the money about him. He's proved it um, that he can he can be that adult that they so desperately needed. And I, I'll I'll go over for Cleveland. Pittsburgh, they were 12 and four last year, but they're only projected at nine for the upcoming season. Over under. I would take the over just because they got project nine. God, that's kind of low. Um, I'm gonna take the over, not by much, but I do think they're gonna win more than nine games, especially in the season where you get an extra game. I just gotta believe that they're gonna win more than nine, so I'm gonna take the over. Yeah, I agree. I mean, until I mean, Ben Roethlisberger was pretty good last year you know they, they tailed off a little bit late but the whole team did but I mean they they got some they got a little bit fortunate in free agency with some guys coming back Juju came back Tyson Alawalu came back Vince Williams came back I think all of that matters and Big Ben's gonna have the same really good weaponry he had last year with Juju Claypool James Washington Deontay Johnson they they got a new offensive coordinator you know I I thought a lot of Randy Fink during years past, but I swear, I, I don't know what he was doing last year. They, they could not figure out anything about running the football. They get a running back. They get a little bit more physical up front. That defense is going to be what it does with Mike Tomlin and Keith Butler. I think, yeah, I think this is an over. Cincinnati at six and a half, coming off that 4-11 in one season last year, over under. I'm going to take the over. I think they win at least seven games. Um, if they had to say it's seven, if the projection would have been seven, I would have said push. But since it's six and a half, I'm going to say over. Um, listen, I, I, I'm not the most confident in the Bengals. I'm not going to sit here and act like I am. But I do like what Joe Burrow is doing. I do like T Hig him and T. Higgins. I like I, – I just think – they got enough where they can win at least seven games. And, I mean, listen, they went 4-11, and 11, but we got to remember this. Joe Burrow got hurt at a certain point of the season, and it was over with at that point. It was done, stick a fork in the rest of the season. Joe Burrow comes back. If he looks like Joe Burrow, I think they win seven. So, yeah, I'm going to take the over. I'm going to go under just because I I think it – look, if you say over, it's because you believe in Joe Burrow. If you say under, it's because – it's you don't the believe in Joe Burrow. It's, well, I, no, not because <laughs> I think Joe Burrow. Joe Burrow had a you know as played as good as he could last year before he right. got hurt. Uh, I, I'm just unsure of this team. You know, the offensive line still got question marks there. You know, uh, they got to keep him upright. And they can't. He can't get hurt and keep getting hurt behind that porous offensive line. So I, it, it's just it's that's just the organ and that's all the organization too you know it, it, that's a hard place to have success and because of that I'm, I'm taking the under the colts newly acquired carson wentz back with his old mentor frank reich they got him at 10 over under it's so easy i'm taking the over it just everything screams that this team's gonna win 13 games this year to me like i just feel like they're gonna be a 13 win team they're gonna win division too hey i hear that i hear about the rest of the division Listen, Carson Wentz, people forget how good Carson Wentz is. I think 
we're going to get a resurrection of Carson Wentz with the um, uh, Frank Wright connection, put them together. We already know how the rest of the coast is built to succeed. I think they win somewhere between 13 and 14 games. I'm going to take the over. If they can win 11 games with Phillip Rivers and his whole family, <laughs> they can win 11 games with Carson Wentz. Yes, I'm taking it over because I don't think this division is all that good outside of Indianapolis. This is an over. Uh, the Titans at nine and a half. They won 11 last year as well. Over under. I got, I'm going to take the over with them too. Um, I just, I think they could. I just look at this team and say they can win ten games. I mean, they can win ten games. They won eleven. They went eleven to five last year. You get them an extra game. Derrick Henry gonna come back in here doing what he do. Tannehill, you you brought back. I mean, you did lose some talent. I thought you brought back enough talent to finish second in this division. So. I'm, I'm going to take the over with the Titans. I think they can win 10 or more games. I'm taking the under. I know we don't have 500 teams no more, barring a tie, but this looks like a 500 team to me with Ryan Tannehill, Derrick Henry. It's, it's all about Derrick Henry and uh, how far he can carry you. I think he's going to have a little bit of a pullback year, and because of that, Ryan Tannehill is going to way pullback year. We know he's not worth whatever they're paying him, and because of that, this is a slight under for me. Jacksonville, they got him at six, up from one and 15 last year. <laughs> It's a lot of love yeah. for Urban Meyer and Trevor Lawrence. I would tell you right now, I'd take the over if it was if I had to do the one in fifteen part. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like six? No, absolutely not. I'm going to take the under. Here's the deal, and I, I'm not trying to be disrespectful to Jacksonville, but here's the deal: you got a new head coach, you're going to have a new quarterback. That means that's a new system. If you think I'm blowing smoke, let's go look at Arizona two years ago when you had a new quarterback and a new coach. You got to figure this out. Urban, I got it. Urban Meyer, one of the best coaches to do this. This is the NFL. It hits a little different in the NFL. So you're going to have to learn something. You're going to have to do more. And with that said, I'm going to take that whopping under for Jacksonville. If it was if it was 1-15 over under, that might be a push for me. <laughs> just, oh, but yeah. Expect, since, expect a phone call from George later. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> This is, and this is all for his benefit, by the way. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I, I can't – I feel like going from one to six, even though, I mean, we assume Trevor Lawrence will be a huge upgrade. Urban Meyer should be a huge upgrade. But you gotta got to feel like there's going to be a little bit of a learning curve for that. Right. And because of that, you know, four or five win team for me. That This is a slight under. Houston, one of the aforementioned bottom of the barrel projection teams. They were four and twelve last year. They're getting a little love to five. I, what do you think? Over under, under, under. Like, you won four games with a Deshaun Watson. Now, if he don't play because of everything that's going on, mm -hmm. you are gonna win five games? Man, please. No, I'm taking the under on that. That's ridiculous. Yeah, I, I see no conceivable way they can go five and twelve. And this, this Deshaun Watson thing is turned to spiraling, spiraling out of control. Even if he does play, I don't know, you know, what does he have? They, are they How focused will he be? How focused? And I know they imported some other running back who used to, well, oh, they got Philip Lindsay in there. I'm sure him, uh, David Johnson, and just, it, it all sounds questionable. They're free agency. Oh, yeah, they're free agency stuff they did. It didn't make a lot of sense. It looked like they was trying to compete move for move with New England. But they was it was just losing. So I, yeah, first year head coach, a quarterback. We don't know what's going on. Uh, the defense doesn't have anybody. You know, JJ Watts out of town. Yeah, I, I I see no way they can get to five wins. It's an under. Kansas City Chiefs. They got them at twelve over under. I'm gonna take the over. Like they won fourteen games last year while poo pooing around. Now we just yeah. seen them get smoked in the Super Bowl. You don't think they're gonna come back and want to do something about that? I'm gonna take the over on that. I, I, I see them winning between 15 and 16 games. Beyond. They got a point to prove. They looked at very bad in the, in the Super Bowl. We've seen them look about as worse as they looked since Patrick Mahomes been there. I just got to believe they're coming back with vengeance. Yeah, I, I agree. I mean, I, you know, 12, 12, 12 does seem a little safe at the, you know, if he was playing conservative, you say it's a push, and I'll be a little bit, you know, a little bit more aggressive. You know, Patrick Mahomes, best quarterback in the league. They've just that what they're doing with that offense, you know, it's ridiculous. Their defense just has to be somewhat competent. They have been. I think they continue to be. Yeah, that's that's an over. Chargers, they got them at nine off a good rookie season from Justin Herbert. New coach in town. Over under. 
I'm gonna have to take the under. And it's only because this is back to what we were saying last year when we were talking about the coach firing. I just felt like you got to give Anthony Lynn another year to fix, like him and for Herbert to get together. Instead, you booted him out. You brought in this cat, what? Another no name cat that got hired this all season. And now Justin Herbert got to learn everything new again. Dude, it's only his second year, folks. It's only his second year. Now let's just revamp the whole the whole scheme. And hey, hey, Justin, it's on your back. Take us to the promised land. I feel like that's going to be a lot for the young man. So I'm going to take the under for the Chargers. Yeah, I agree. It could be just a little bit of a sophomore slump coming at you. You know, I don't yeah, I, I do. I do agree. I think the, the thing that bothered me the most was they they went a defensive coach as opposed to bringing in an offensive guy to work with the young quarterback, Justin Herbert. So because of that, I'm going to take the under as well. The Las Vegas Raiders. In what is it, year four or five or something? Another out of John Gruden's lifetime, hundred million dollar contract. They got him at eight, and that is a under five hundred projection. What do you think? Over under? I'm taking the under. Did you the, listen? They <laughs> they sold their whole offensive line. Like I don't. Mm. The minute they got rid of a very productive offensive line, I was like, wait, what is John? Wait, oh, I guess you could do that when you got a contract like his. So. Listen, at the end of the day, I'm taking the under. I don't know what the hell they doing in Las Vegas other than opening the city back up for events. But with that said, this ain't, this ain't going to cut it. I'm taking the under. I don't know what's going on with the Raiders. Yeah, I, I'm inclined to agree with you. I'm going to take the under. I don't, I don't like what I saw from that off from you know getting rid of a lot of that offensive line. Rodney Hudson, Trent Brown, just to name a few. Um, you know, that was a big part of what they could do well with Josh Jacobs and keeping Derek Carr upright. Um, and outside of that, I'm just, you know, thinking about it. I don't, I don't see how much better they've gotten at, at other positions at this point. So, yeah, with that in mind, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say under. And the Denver Broncos bringing up the rear at 7.5 over under. If Denver could get a quarterback, I'll take the over. Until they, they figure out the quarterback situation, I'm going to take the under because – as talented as Denver is, very talented team, that quarterback situation is something else. Even with the backfield, as yeah. you got a pretty stable backfield, I think. Um, you got the wide receivers. You got one of the best tight ends. I just said this over and over. This division is the best tight end division in football. Just if you just break down the tight ends, you won't find four better tight ends than what this division going to give you. But the problem is, you kind of need a quarterback to throw to the tight end, and that's where Denver is at. So I'm going to take the under and try to figure out what their quarterback situation is. I think like. that tight end point still does stand up, even though the Chargers lost Hunter Henry. I think they brought in Jared Cook. So, yeah, I think right. I think it still does stand up. Uh, I'm, you know, I am I got my feelings hurt last year. I was believing in him. I was believing in Drew Locke. I, I, you know, I think this team is almost, and I really, I don't like this comparison, but this that kind of Cleveland light, mm. because I don't think you – I'm not a big believer in Baker Mayfield. I'm not sure you are either, but no, they are no, so no. talented around him that you don't need a whole lot from. I think Denver is a little bit similar. All I think all they need for them to be above 500, which would give them an over, and actually eight would give them an over, but Drew Locke, got, you got to cut out the turnovers. The Drew Locke cuts out the turnovers, take care of the football. I think they get it over, and I think this team is, is definitely talented enough to get it over. They got to fix the turnovers. I think they do. They get an over. Oh, the Dallas Cowboys, as we move over to the NFC, they're getting love at 9.5 with the return of Dak Prescott. They were 6-10 and 10 last year, over under. I'm going I'm to take the over. I, I think you got a happy quarterback. You got a semi-happy running back. If you can get that offensive line, if you can get them to stay healthy, it's not even if you can get them to play well. You just need them to stay healthy. If you can get them to stay healthy, you, you got more than enough when it comes to the wide receivers, tight end. You get Blake Jordan back. Um, Mike McCarthy, second year in the program uh, in the organization. I think he's going to be better. You got uh, Kellen Moore. This is third year. I think he should be better. Um, what the, the, the coach from Atlanta, he's the new defensive uh, coordinator. Yeah. Um, so it, it's, it's a lot going on there. I think they should be better. I'm going to take the over just because the rest of the division, I don't know. Mm. Yeah. So I'm gonna take the over. This better be an over, or somebody's gonna be. <laughs> this better be an over, or somebody's gonna Listen. be really upset with their investment. 
Go, give me the Jerry Jones up in the right corner camera the whole game for the whole season so I can see how disappointed he is when this becomes an over and I messed it up and under I don't believe it. I really don't um you know the, the, the Cowboys they, they're just born to, to disappoint at this right. point just like that little uh climactic thing I just did that didn't work Anyway, yeah, they're, they're an under. Uh, Washington at eight with Ron Rivera and other assorted people out there. I don't know what they're doing for a quarterback uh, over under. I'm going to take a push. But before, I want to say this. This whole division is an under. I think people need to understand that. That is why we're yes, struggling over here with this division. Yeah. This division is an under. It's, it's ridiculous. But with Washington, I'm going to take a push. I think eight is about that ceiling. Until, they got a lot that needs to happen in Washington. Robert Barry is doing some good stuff there, but Snyder not. So it's a lot that need to happen. With that said, it's I, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna give him credit for you know Robert Barry being a hard worker and do what he do. I'm gonna give him a push at eight. I, I was about to give them an over, but then I just was thinking about this quarterback situation, and I don't even know I don't even know what it is. Right, it, it, Tyler Taylor Heineke. It ain't Dwayne Haskins. It's not Alex no. Smith. I. Ooh. Something has to, that you got to show me a quarterback, and I, I will give me something, and I will reevaluate. I want to give this over because Ron Rivera last year did a tremendous job, uh, even though that division just just stinks. But you know, quarterback uncertainty, I, I got I got to give him an under. The the Giants with Joe Judge, Daniel Jones, and maybe Saquon Barkley will play at one point. They're at seven over under. I'm taking the over. I think this is the team that's going to push. It's going to be between the Giants and the Cowboys for the division. I'm going to take the over. I think um, Saquon come back. Now he's learning the NFL game, what he can and cannot do, so he won't be hurt all the time. Daniel Jones ain't terrible. Was he the number six pick overall? Probably not. But he, he first round, okay, whatever. Um, Joe Judge, you know, as bland as he is, he got something going there. Him and all, oh, clap it, clap, clap. They got something going on there. So that that seems to be successful. And listen, it seems look, it seems like they're in the market to get one of the top three receivers in the draft this year. Um, whether that's, you know, uh Jamar Chase, Devontae Smith, or Jaden Waddle. Um, so I, I like where they at, and I think they got things coming in somewhat of a full circle. But once again, like I said, this whole division is an under. But I'm gonna take the over on the Giants. I'm disappointed. You said this whole division was an under. I'm hearing a lot of overs over there. I'm going under. Uh, I, I do I do think Joe Judge was fairly impressive last year until the last week of the season when he was crying about what the Eagles was doing with their quarterback situation. So I, but, I mean, I'm, I'm not a believer in Daniel Jones. Uh, Saquon Barkley just can't, just can't get healthy for whatever reason. Uh, it's, it's close. This this probably is a push, but just because on principle with this division, it's it's an under. The Philadelphia Eagles, um, they don't have Carson Wentz anymore. They have Jalen Hurts. They have a new coach. I can't even remember who that coach is. Um, uh, they're at six, seven. Six, that seems six, a bit Nick generous. Johnson? Over under. Sirianni, Nick Sirianni. Sirianni, yeah. I don't know. It's an absolutely under. It's it's absolutely. That, like I said, you like well, like you just said, I can't call the whole division an under. Then give everybody an over. Um, they're, they're definitely under. Don't you worry about this. We got a coach out here. They call him stuttering Stan and all that mess. You got Jalen Hurts out here. What do you make of that situation right now? Um, it's too many positions that, that has to be rebuilt. It's just, it's a downright, uh, should I say clown show there. So with that said, I'm going to take that awesome under for the Philadelphia Eagles. This seems like the... You know, you can make, I think you make arguments for all the other teams that you can give them a little bit of love and give them an over, but I think seven is way too generous <laughs> based on what we saw last year. New coach, we, we don't even do the honor of like giving him his name when we come in here. Jalen Hurts, I mean, I, uh, I, I want to believe, but it, I just don't see, I just don't think he's got enough help. This is, and it, this roster, just when you look at it, they, they looking like a bunch of has-beens at this point. That's it. A lot of guys are getting old, and they they have not revamped and retooled and re and reloaded. So yeah, I think this is an under. Now the NFC North, Green Bay, eleven. They were thirteen three last year. Over under. I'm um, take the over. I don't I don't see. I mean, Green Bay look like the same pretty pretty similar team from last year. 
I mean, he's still bringing back Rodgers. He's still got a point to prove. Uh, we know what Jones and um, Williams do in the backfield. Need I say more about Devontae Adams? Um, and it seems like the other guys, they they give, they doing what they need to do. I don't I don't know. I don't I don't see a reason why they should drop. Unless the rest of this division is just gonna come and knock your head off this year. I don't see a reason. So this is an easy over for me. Yeah, this is an I think this is an over for me. I don't you know, Aaron Rodgers, they paid Aaron Jones, Devontae Adams, you know about them Smith boys out there, Jair Alexander. Just so much to like about this team. They're also pretty solid up front with uh Kenny Clark. Don't forget about Dave Bakhtiari. So many, so many good things to say. Um to me, if this team, the question is, just going to be in the playoffs. Can they can they make a deep run and be serious in the playoffs? And I swear, if they draft a quarterback in the first round, I'm going to lose it. I'm going to lose it. Do that again. Uh, <laughs> none of that Vikings at eight and a half. Vikings at eight and a half. Yeah, that's a that would be a 500 team. Uh, over under. I'm taking over. I think Vikings going to be a lot more improved this year. Um, I think last year was kind of a shock for them. You know. Zimmerman, like, oh man, I gotta put in some work this offseason. Um, but Kirk Cousins, he gets to come in there and be copy and paste like he do. Um, you know, Jefferson, we seen what he did. It went off last year, dealing. Um, but I think this offense for sure gonna run through Cook this year. Um, and I think all right, I ain't gonna draw it out. Anyway, I see the makings of this. Where the Vikings should be a more improved team, I don't see them taking a step back. So I'm gonna take the over. They, they they have they have to be an over. If this is not an over, this is this is Minnesota. Yeah, this is Minnesota. If this is not an over, I, I'm gonna take a position I've never took before. They should riot. If this is not a if this is not an over, they should. Dalvin Cook, Kirk Cousins, Kirk Cousins got to get it done with Justin Jefferson, Adam Thielen. Mike Zimmer's defense will be better. This better be an over. Chicago Bears at seven and a half over under. Under. Like, are you kidding me? Uh, <laughs> they have done nothing to make me believe. What? Even if they would have projected them at five and a half, I would have said under. Listen, I'm not. What are we talking about here? What the, What are we talking about here? I, I, under, under, under. Yeah, this is an under. Andy Dalton, really. Oh, that's a, there's a lot. There's a lot to ask out of this uh, defense that you know is pretty pretty good year in out year out. They haven't been as good as they were a couple of years ago, uh, but I, I I just can't get excited about Andy Dalton. I get excited about Allen Robinson, but I feel bad for him. It'd be nice to have a quarterback once in a while. Uh, the Lions at five over under. So this probably be one of the rare times you you hear me um, use an analogy from golf. But I thought in golf, you got to have good kneecaps so they don't hurt on the course. And that's what we got here. So you add in kneecaps with golf, you're like, man, bad. Dude like to eat kneecaps. Golf like, uh, we're going to take the under because we just don't know what, what's going on here. Um, we're more interested in what Ford going to do with their next vehicle than this team winning. <laughs> um, so I'm going to take that outstanding whopping under for the Detroit Lions. I was I was about to say something about kneecaps, but I I figured you pick it and scoop it on up for me. Yeah, I, yeah, five five. It ain't even that much to do, but much like the Texans, new coach. Now they got at least the Lions got a new quarterback. He might play. I don't think he's got legal issues going on right now. But I'm not I'm I'm not a believer. And uh, with all that in mind, yeah, this is an under. The Bucks at eleven and five, eleven and five last year, over under. Oh, I'm taking the over. I think the Bucks got a chance to go undefeated this year. I'm I'm saying it. Definitely your division champs. That's without a doubt. But the Saints, the I don't, they should go undefeated in this division. I don't see the Saints winning the game. I don't see the Panthers winning the game or the, the Falcons. I'm just being real. This team signed for the first time since like I forgot what the date is, 1950 something or something like that. They signed all 22 starters. They want the smoke. They're gonna come back. I think they're going to want the smoke. I think this division is going to be in trouble this year because Tom Brady, we seen how drunk he was after the win, so that means it, it matters. Um, so with all that said, yo, I'm taking the over by a large margin. Yeah, I, th I think this is an over. Reloaded, got everybody back, everybody that you could ever want. They'll probably be, still be bringing in more players. They're going to be drafting luxury positions. 
like the Chiefs were last year. Yeah, this is an over. The uh, Saints, nine and a half, 12 and four last year, over under. I'm over. I'm, I'm going to give them the over. I think even with Jameis Winston or um, Taysom Hill, whoever they're going to have, I think they're going to go with Jameis Winston this year. Um, with him back there, listen, you know, if Jameis Winston don't turn over the ball, it's still enough talent on his team to get the job done to win 10 games. It's going to be tough now because you it's going to be tough. You did look – like you said, Cook, he's out of the building. Um, so – I think it's going to be tougher. However, I do see them win 10 because their defense is still stout. They still got with that going on for them. Sean Payton's still coming back. So you still got familiar pieces. But I, 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 I'm going to say over at 10. Close. Yeah, I struggle with this one as well. But I think I'm going to go under just because I'm going to have to see it proven to me that they can win without Drew Brees. Um, they still are loaded at a lot of other positions. Um, hopefully they get Michael Thomas back and he has a big year, but, uh, yeah, without Drew Brees and with uncertainty, I gotta, I'm just gonna have to see Jameis Winston play winning football and throwing the ball to his own team. Um, I think the saints take a little bit of a step back. I think the, I think the following year, uh, they'll be back. They'll be back up and running at full speed. The Panthers at seven and seven and a half wins five and 11 last year over under. Over. I'm gonna say over. Um, I think they could win eight or more games is why. Um, when this point five stuff be killing me. I'm going to say over, though, <laughs> uh, because, listen, Matt Rule second year, Joe Brady second year. You bringing in Sam Darnold, you're going to have a little competition. Now, the defense should only get better because they was all brand spanking new last year. So they should get better. You still got your weapons at wide receiver. We know what Christian McCaffrey bring to the game. There's no need to bring that up. Um, so with all that said, I just – I see them going up, so I'm going to take the over for the Panthers. Yeah, I think this is an over. I think the Panthers might be the most, you know, that sleeper, sleeperish team because they got a, they got a quarterback who got some upside. I don't think he never, ever really had that much of a chance in New York. I think Joe Brady brings him in, coaches him up, and I think uh, – I think we could see the Panthers at about 10 wins. I think they, they can be, they're going to be a playoff team next year. I like what they've done. This is an over. The Falcons at seven wins. They were four and twelve last year. Over and under. Oh, I'm taking the under. They like they can't. Even, I'm taking the under. I don't see. I don't see a path to success. To be honest with you, like I, I'm looking. The offense cool. They got some stars on offense. I ain't mad at that. The defense not so much. And now it seems like you're gonna draft. You're looking to draft Kyle Pitts, like, because that's what you need. Another weapon on offense. So. If that is the case, I'm I'm good on that. I'm gonna take the under. Yeah, this is an under. I just had to something about these this new this new crop of NFL head coaches. I got to Google just about every one of them, and I forgot <laughs> that it's old Arthur <laughs> Arthur Smith out there just bringing all kind of excitement down there to the city. Yeah, I, I it, it seems like it's just a re- same old recycled offensive stuff that we see with Matt Ryan, Julio Jones, Calvin Ridley. You bring Kyle Pitts in there, yeah, I'm sure you'll score more points, but I'm not, I'm not sold on this defense. I don't think, I don't think they're much to get excited about. That this is an under, and to the NFC West and the Rams at ten and a half over under. Oh, I'm taking the over. You best believe this. Sean McVay, one of the smart, guy, one of the biggest brains offensively in the in the game today. You think they traded for um, Stafford and then don't have a plan ready? Oh, they about to be ready. Um, the Rams, I'm taking the over on the Rams. I think he's going to take them to the next level. Yeah, I think I think it's an over. Matt Stafford coming in there with Robert Woods and Cooper Cup. And don't forget about Cam Akers. Really got going for him down the stretch. Sean McVay, he's shown that he can, you know, win at a very high clip in this, in this league. Uh, I think it was a smart move to go elsewhere from Jared Goff. And uh, – Aaron Donald, Jer- Jalen Ramsey, they they do have other guys on this defense, although those two guys get all the love. Yeah, this is an over. The 49ers at 10, they were 6-10 and 10 last year. Over under. I'm, I'm going under. Because even – so the big thing with the 49ers now is Garoppolo is going to hang on for one year and the 49ers are going to draft for his Eric uh, apparent and all this other stuff. But what I look at is – 
they lost a lot of talent. I don't even know if they really supplemented the talent that they lost, to be honest with you. Like, I'm looking, they lost some pieces. Um, I'm not feeling real confident about the 49ers right now. Now, Mike, I mean, Kyle Shanahan, I feel very confident about him, but that's about it. The only reason I ain't saying they're going to lose more is because of him. So, I mean, 6 and 10, they got them at 10. Uh, I'm, I'm going to take the under on that one. I can I can see how people may think that they could you know jump back into the swing and things they they were just decimated by injuries up and down the roster last season but I, I'm yeah I think there's too much in uncertainty here the quarterback position is it Garoppolo they're doing a lot of moving around in the draft so I'm not quite sure what to make of them and I just don't don't forget also no Robert Sala so we don't know how that's going to impact that defense so I think I feel I feel comfortable taking the under right here. The Seahawks also at 10. They were the division champs 12 and 4 last year. Over under. Push. I'm 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 push. I'm, I gotta give them a push because I I come on man. Could could Russell Wilson get an offense a lot? Like I don't I don't get why he has to fight so hard to get protection. I don't get it. On the other hand, I mean, at least you did make some stuff happen with the guys that were supposed to leave. They ended up coming back. But then you lost your number one corner. You let him go off somewhere else. Um, I, I don't know. I'm just I, – I, I, I haven't seen enough out of the Seahawks that made me a believer that they got enough to, you know, step forward. I'm going to give them the same. I'm going to give them the push. I think, you know, 10 wins about right for me. Yeah, I think I think it's an over. I think it's a slight over eleven and six. I feel I feel like that's a safe bet. Um, it's, it's Russell Wilson and Pete Carroll. You know, I know that they don't even care about drafting certain positions that you know we knuckleheads out here in the so-called media think are important. But regardless, Russell Wilson, he just you know put his old pack on and just stuff everybody in it and just carry him up the mountain to a you know a respectable season. I think he does it again, and I'll take the over. And last but not least, the Cardinals at eight over under. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna use your line from earlier. This better be a over, or it's about to be a whole lot of firing going on. You already know my philosophy on this team right here. I keep telling you, I think Cliff Berry is about to get fired this year. And um, hey, Cliffy, you better be over eight, or you get fired. You fired. So. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna take. Uh, I, I'm gonna take the over because it has to happen for them if they want to keep things intact. Ooh, well, I tell you, if if this if this division's win projections come true, ooh, it might be over. And I hope I hope Cliff didn't read this because if he did, he's probably sitting up there sweating somewhere. They're like, oh <laughs> no, I swear. If they don't if they don't get an over and they don't make the playoffs, he might be out of here because they've done they've accumulated way too much talent to be, you know, sitting here flopping around in last place. So, yeah, I, I'm i going to say over. I'm going to say over, but even if, if – I like this division. I think it's still the best division in football, and I think they got to make the playoffs. So he might be gone. And that's it. Thank you for joining us for this edition of Over Under. We'll be right back with the next segment. 